Hello, hello. It is almost supper time. And we are making hamburger casserole. I'm cutting up some potatoes. I'm going to get some hamburger meat browning. And then we're going to throw it in the oven. See you back in a minute. Alright, so this is... This is how I freeze my hamburger. I get it into almost one pound packages and I freeze it, pat it out flat, and then freeze it like that. That way when I get ready to use it, it's super easy. I just cut the bag open. It's only been sitting out maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and it's already mostly thawed. So, let's see, let's see. Get that, get that. Cavender's Greek seasoning. Cover that with it. About a tablespoon or so of dill. We like dill, so I'm going to put more. And then, garlic salt. Was, um, the Cavenders is pretty salty in and of itself, so I might want to go easy on the garlic salt. And that's just about it. Pepper. Always pepper. See where that gets us. Be back in a sec. Have y'all tried the meat chopper thing that everybody's raving about? Yeah, I have to. And guess what? I don't like it. I'll stick with my wooden spoon, spatula, whatever you call it. I like it way better. Been using it for years upon years. So. We are going to stick with that. Don't fix what ain't broke, right? Right. Okay, got a little assembly line going here. This is the fun part I wanted to show you. And you turn it to the side. And do like that. And I hear pitter-patter all behind me. What are y'all doing? <laughs> I need fuel for my wood stacking engine. Fit. So I need to, something to eat now. See if it's done. You need fuel for your what? Wood stacking engine. I got wood stack. Oh, yeah. Yes, you do. Are you recording? Yes. Stop, please. So we're going to layer these flour tortillas <clears throat> in whichever way one would want them. I did grease the bottom of the pan just in case. Um, I, th <laughs> I think I did too many of these. Um, I don't know. I don't know how many I should put at the bottom. Alright. I think that's about three or four. I'll use that for something else. Oop, missed one. Then, we're going to put the hamburger meat. Oh gosh. It's a head warm still. Mm. Put this all down. Oopsie. Making a mess. Oopsie. If you have big pieces, just kind of mush them up. As Greeny would say. <laughs> She's so funny. Um, I may have needed a bigger pan, actually. Okay, here's that. Let me get the... Hmm. The mustard. If you like ketchup on your burgers, 
you can use ketchup here. I'm going to have to go get some more mustard from the pantry because I am out. Alright, one sec. Okay. I got some more mustard. Mmm. Put enough on there at, like that you would like on your your hamburger, and then I put a little bit of this Munster cheese. We like Munster cheese, and then we're going to put a couple of slices of American cheese. And I've preheated the oven to 375. Never comes out like you want it to. These packages always tear somewhere. There's two slices. What kind of cheese do y'all use? Do you like the uh, the craft singles that you sold on those? I was buying the Borden for a while, but it got to be where it was just as expensive as the craft. So, these right here is actually the best choice brand. And you know what? I can tell the difference. So, unless you're some kind of cheese connoisseur, I don't think you're going to be able to tell the difference from me, though. So, let's put that there. And uh, here come the taters. I'm just going to put those. It's kind of not uniformly, but kind of uniformly. Um, I don't want it to take too long to where the cheese burns and the tater still ain't done, you know. So instead of scattering it all over because I cut them so big, I'm just kind of placing them. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if this is gonna turn out or not. I've never used, never done it with the potatoes. We shall see. Okay. Then, clearly, four potatoes was too much. And then, so gotcha. Monster cheese. You think y'all would use um, cheddar or provolone? What kind would you use? Actually, if they had it, or excuse me, if I had it, I would probably use Kobe Jack. But Monster is what we have. Monster is what we use. This is going to cook probably, probably going to take about 30 minutes because you're just kind of waiting for the taters to, to cook. Everything else is cooked in this. So, here we go, here we go. Let's put that in there, let's put that in there. I can't look right now. Turn that on for 30 minutes. And we'll be back in 30 minutes. And seeing how I made or cut up too many taters, figured might as well cook them up. So, where is my wife? Yeah. Might as well cook them up and make some mashed taters. I have it for tomorrow or. Actually, I think I might freeze it. So, just stuck them puppies in water. 
get your handy dandy garlic salt. Put a couple of pinches, a uh, couple of pinches of garlic salt in there. A couple of pinches of pepper. We're done with that. Then the topping for the hamburger casserole. We've got lettuce. I've got green onion and white onion from earlier, from breakfast this morning. And I do have some tomatoes. I don't know if I'll put those on or not. So we are just waiting for the hamburger casserole. What do you think else I could have to go with it? Like, should I have some corn? What would you have? to go with it or would you just leave it as hamburger casserole let me know in the comments after you like this video of course okay what the Lord? potatoes all done till now while it's draining in the sink we are going to cut up some butter because that's what we do. We use tons of butter here in the south. If it don't have butter in it, it probably don't taste very good. So, probably going to end up using almost this whole stick. Maybe not, but probably. For about four potatoes, yeah. I know, that's a lot of butter, ain't it? But this is real butter. This ain't that oil garbage margarine Ugh. congealed oils all it is yucky so I cut it up little cubes stick it on there come on now get in and get our taters Throw them in there. Find the tater masher in the drawer. And mash, mash, mash. And once you got it all mashed up, then you put a little bit of milk in there. And that's where you get your creamed potatoes. That's what I call them, creamed potatoes. I think everybody else calls them mashed potatoes, but around here we call them cream taters. Yes, we say taters. But I'm trying to be somewhat elegant and not sound so much like the hillbilly that I am. I'm trying to say potatoes. But, you know, you gotta be me. So see, it's kind of, it won't even fall out. So that's why you gotta have them. Little at a time. You can always add more. It was very, 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 very difficult to take away. We want them creamed. We do not, however, want to be able to drink them through a straw. So see. That's my better. Not very sticky. And then we gotta give her a taste. Perfection. Alright, it's almost time to check on the um, <laughs> hamburger casserole and see where it's at. Be back in a sec. Alrighty. After 40 long minutes, I think this is ready, finally. We're going to top it with some onion. Going to have to get some more cheese. Maybe, I don't know. Here's some lettuce. And we're going to serve it up to the man and yeah. see how terrible it is. I do not have high hopes. 
but this is what it looks like Ugh. I will let you know and the thingamajigger bopper <laughs> let's go Brandon <laughs> super <laughs> yeah everybody, uh -oh. everybody named Brandon in America just must be feeling great because it's just the whole world's cheering them on <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so all done. I don't have high hopes for it. I should have left out the potatoes or sliced them super thin because it's taken over 40 minutes to cook at 375. So this was my first time to do it with potatoes. Um, stick with what you know. I'm, I'm not, I don't have high hopes, but that's it. Give us a like, share it, tell your friends, and keep coming back. Thanks.